Hello and welcome to LiDAR Lab. I'm Lewis Graham, CTO of GeoQ Group. In this session I want to show you how to download a copy of our LP360 software for evaluation, how to register it, and how to get started using it. So the first thing you'll do is go to our QCoherent website, which you can see here is www.qcoherent.com, or you can simply go to LP360. Dot com. If you have any difficulty in reaching these sites, just send us an email at sales at qcoherent.com. So here we are on the home page of the LP360 website. I've gone there via www.qcoherent.com. And you'll notice in the left-hand side in the product section, free LP360 evaluation. And just click on the download now link. This will bring up a form You'll fill in your first name, last name, organization, phone, mail, email, etc. Now it's most important to get your email address correct on this form because we're going to email a link to you to do the download rather than directly downloading from this page. So after you've filled out your name, address, email, etc., just name and organization and email, click the send button. Um, um, before I go to that, I would like to say that it would be really nice if you could tell us how you did hear about LP360. We, we try to track this information, but at any rate, hit the send button. And you'll receive an email with instructions on how to do the software download. And what you want to do to begin the installation is click on the actual download link embedded within the email. I'll do that. And I'm using Windows 7. You may get a different sort of download form. And I always like to save this file as opposed to directly run the file. And this file will begin the download. At this stage in the installation process, I have the install file called a .msi on my local machine. Now your actual version number may differ because we update this on a regular basis. Before you start the installation, this is very important, you have to make sure that you do not have LP360 already installed on your machine by going to Control Panel. And depending on your version of Windows, I'm running Windows 7, so I have Programs and Features. And I'll just scroll through this and see if I have LP360 installed. And I see that I already do have this installed. So I need to uninstall simply by double-clicking the 32-bit version and I'll have this removed from my machine. A second consideration is to make sure that you do not have ArcGIS running either. So if you've got ArcGIS running, make sure you shut that down before you attempt to do the installation. Uh, one other important thing is that you will need administrative privileges in your login and Windows in order to do the installation. You can install this 32-bit version on either a 64-bit operating system where it will run in emulation mode or you can run it on, or of course, directly install it on a 32-bit operating system. Uh, one other important consideration is that if your desire is to simply upgrade your current version of LP360, this is not the route to take. For doing that, you'll want to do a check for updates from help within LP360. So this is just for an evaluation installation. So once you've ensured that you don't have LP360 already installed on your machine and you're ready to do the installation, just double click on the installation package and step through the install. Agree to our license agreement. Uh, go with the default installation location unless you've got some really good reason to put the installation at some other location. Uh, the install runs uh, fairly quickly as it, in, as it loads onto your machine. I'll typically just unclick everything on what I want to do when my installation is complete. Close out of the dialog. And we now have LP360 installed. The next step in the process is to start up ArcMap. I'm running Arc 10.1, but LP360 will install in anything from Arc 9.3 onward. Uh, how ARC starts up depends on which version you're using. If you're in versions prior to uh, ARC 10.1, uh, the minimum configuration we support is ARC view, so you can run any version of LP360 for ArcGIS and ARC view. And in 10.1, it's only the basic level that is required. Uh, cancel out of any projects that you may be trying to open. Go to Customize Extensions. 
and you'll see listed in the extensions that you might have available you should see LP360 and it'll probably say license unavailable and just click on that extension to load it and that will immediately bring up our registration form set to the evaluation tab so don't change any of the radio buttons um, and fill in the information again uh, your name organization address and so forth again when you fill out the form it's very important to get your email correct because we're going to ask you for a validation code so after you've filled in all of the required fields in this form the validate email button will activate press that button and we're going to send a validation code to your email address so you'll want to keep this license administrator dialog open an email will be sent to you and go check your email to find that validation here's the validation email that I received and my code is a 6062 I simply enter that by cut and paste or type it in a 6062 if you put in the wrong code let's say a 6063 then we'll say wrong verification code so uh, once you have the correct verification code entered the register and activate evaluation license button will activate simply press that button will activate your license by the uh, internet you should get an activation of node locked license completed successfully message press OK close out of the license administrator dialog and your extension should now say that you're licensed with a standard evaluation with 30 days left on that evaluation click in the toolbars area and you can bring up the various LP360 tools. Now the discussion of how these tools are used will be covered in another video. Thanks very much. Again, if you have any difficulty at all with registering your evaluation copy, simply send an email to sales at qcoherent.com.